Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at the rate of photosynthesis past paper questions. In this first question, the graph shows how the rate of photosynthesis is affected by different conditions. What patterns can you find from this graph? When looking at this graph, we can first of all see that as the light intensity increases, so does the rate of photosynthesis. And this will be enough for our first marking point. As the light intensity increases, so does the rate of photosynthesis. We can see this on the graph because as the light intensity goes up, so does the gradient on the line. However, the line does not continue to increase. At a certain point on each of the graphs, it reaches a point where it levels off. And this means that the light intensity though does increase as the rate of photosynthesis increases, it only does so to a limit. This would be enough to pick up two marking points. So what about the third and fourth? Well, when it gets to this limit, for example here or here, what are the factors that stop it? Well, we can clearly see that it's both carbon dioxide and temperature. So we would say that the limit depends on CO2 and temperature. We can see this because when we increase the CO2 levels, for example here at 0.03 up to here at 4%, you can see that the rate of photosynthesis has dramatically increased. Alternatively, when we change the temperature from 15 to 25, again, though smaller, there's still an increase. This will help us to get the fourth and fifth marks. Increasing the CO2 increases the rate of photosynthesis and increasing the temperature increases the rate of photosynthesis. There we've got our five marking points to get us four marks on the question. In the next question, how useful could this information be to a grower using glass houses? Give reasons for your answers. Well, it'd be very important because it would allow the grower to find out the optimum conditions for growth. By knowing optimum conditions for growth, you'd be able to increase the yield and therefore you'd be able to increase the economic output of the glass houses. Again, there's our two marking points for our two marks. So hopefully you did well on those questions and as always, happy sciencing.